Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us, and this is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of Doha. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's England, and they take on Iran. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Well, the trend is England's friend. Semi-finalists in Russia in 2018. Runners-up at the last European Championship. Stuart, they have to believe that they're very much in the conversation as regards potential winners. Well, in both those tournaments you talked about, first of all, I thought they should have got to the final in 2018. And I thought they should have won the European Championships. But there was one thing missing. A tactical understanding when things started to go wrong. That's what they have to improve this time out. Rezaian, Nurulahi, Jahan Bash. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. That is a really disappointing effort. Goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Harry Kane. saw the situation developing Foden determined defending Mekki Karami He has teammates around him. An incisive pass. And getting across to stop it. Let's see about the delivery. A sloppy pass. Able to get a body in the way. Denied once more. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance! A gift for any goalkeeper. Nuro Rahi. Jahan Bash. Ahmad Nuro Lahi. Far from a good pass. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. He's in with a chance. Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Jude Bellingham. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. 
Nuro Rahi. Chahan Batch played into the centre. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Ahmad Nuro Lahi. Phil Foden. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Mehdi Tarami. Not problematic for the keeper. Jude Bellingham Foden England unable to retain possession and they continue to advance and a lot of options here but timely defending when it mattered and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack and he's through here and under pressure that was a fine claim And Bellingham, he continues his run, Harry Kane, and a goal, just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil, there it is, they're in front. Well I have to say, this is a really good goal, he skips past his marker and that gives him the space to get his shot away, excellent stuff from him. Well a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Jahan Bash. A chance maybe from the wide position, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Useful ball to the near post. Well, nothing comes of it. And so into the final five minutes. Foden. Foden. And space to cross it. And Bellingham. And the body in the way. And there goes the final whistle. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances. And, and the game begins. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned. It's live on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And both teams with one game each under their belt already. Let's see how they fare this time around. It's England against the United States. Well, thanks, Derek. This won't be easy, but a win here, and they will be through to the knockout stages. If they perform at their best, I think they will get the three points that they need.
Fruitful looking attack. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Luke Shaw starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the real chance! Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Henderson. And the United States have it back now. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. A chance to whip it in. Oh, great play. Corner coming up. And over it comes. And he failed to get it away properly. And problem solved for now. Way up. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Plenty of options. Can he find the net? Must be. Well, decent save there. Over it comes. And well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Tyler Adams. McKenney. Space for them here on the flank. And Bellingham. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Jesus Ferreira. And can they exploit the space out wide? And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Henderson. Bukayo Saka. Kane. Well timed tackle. McKenny. And players waiting in the centre. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And now the delivery. Can they hit on the break? Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. So, Genio Dest. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick.
Henderson. Jude Bellingham. Now Harry Kane. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. And threading it forward. Oh, could be a chance. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Struggling to keep the ball. Weston McKenney. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Way up. Bellingham. Got attacking possibilities. But they took care of the situation defensively. Into the final 20 minutes. Can he find the right pass? And he's in. And it was a great chance for 1 0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. And time for the change now. Shaw. Phil Foden. Good tackle, take it away. Well, no stopping him. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Christian Rodon. Oh, they have it again. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Here it is now. A substitution. Foden. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderful pass from Foden. And then it's a top-class strike from Kane. His technique is absolutely spot-on. Just look at the power he generates here. So the ball is rolling again at one all, And the final whistle is sounded. A share of the spoils here. Stuart, what did you make of their performance? Derek, you can't always be at your best. And on those days, you have to grind out a result. And that's exactly what they did today. It was a really good late equaliser. And the shining light for his team, no two ways about that, Harry Kane. Well, it was a good comeback, and he played a big part in that. He just kept plugging away. And the match begins.
They know what's at stake. Just a point required to guarantee their passage through to the knockout stages. We'll have it live on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And the group stage action has been pulsating up to this point. This is the final game of the group for these two sets of players. It's England versus Wales. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Well, they only need a point to go through to the knockout stages, but they can't sit back and defend too deeply. They've got to come out and try and win the game. This should be interesting. Harry Wilson. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And over comes the corner. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Now a short corner here. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Joe Allen. And a tidy tackle. And play halted, free kick given. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Well, thumped clear. Bale trying his luck from long range. Losing possession a bit easily. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Henderson. Walker now. Bukayo Saka. He's in behind. Harry Kane, master finisher. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Dan James... Very quick thinking there. And England with acres of space out wide. Kane. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Throw in here for Wales. Chris Meppham. Wasteful from Wales. Henderson. Saka. And return to Henderson. Will it be? Determined defending. And it went sailing over the crossbar. Not a moment he'll want to remember. And 
just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, Harry Kane certainly bringing his influence to bear on that first half. So back underway here, advantage England after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Henderson, possession changing hands. Fail. Well, they might be onto something. A wonderful intervention. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Gareth Bale. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Kane. And England pushing forward with options available. Oh, that's a fine save. Brennan Johnson. Well, not long to go, and given that they're winning, they know full well they have their ticket in hand for the knockout stages. Well, they've played well today, haven't they? It's been a tough group, but they've certainly delivered when it mattered most. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Kane. Fifteen minutes left for play. Moving forward effectively. Oh, a vital interception. Breaking at pace. A oh, disappointing end to the move. Joe Allen. Bale. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. See if something comes of this. Bellingham! Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Roberts. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And there goes the final whistle. We can say it officially now. England have progressed to the knockout stages of the 2022 World Cup. Well, I think we all expected England to go. And so the battle commences. Hello, excitement in the air and welcome to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray and alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. 
And with the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's England, and they take on Senegal. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. And the contest begins. He read the situation defensively and did his job. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Luke Shaw starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Superb block. Just can't get it past them. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. And still an opportunity. Brilliantly blocked. And a look at the starting lineup for Senegal. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Sheku Kouyate in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, sitting deep. Can they nudge in front? There is the goal. And you could almost see that coming. They were sitting ever deeper. And now they've really paid the price. Well, here's the replay. And you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Sabali. How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Now, what on earth happened there? Kane. Timely intervention. Foden, on to Kane, and simple for the keeper. Dieng, plenty of options. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Well, rather than stop play immediately, the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card. That's a short corner. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Saar. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. it's been quite clear that England have been second best in terms of possession but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking it's been a really good performance from them so far that is that for the first half here And the ball is moving again, with England looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance.
Just cutting off the supply. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, the goalkeeper dealt with it admirably. Well, he's won the ball. Oh, breezing past him. Could be! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. And really pressing their opponents. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Ismail Assar. Dia. And now Stones. A very effective challenge put in. Bamba Dieng. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Opportunity here. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Just 15 minutes remaining. Very quick thinking there. Kane. Boulet Dia. Kane. Well, they are to intercept. Jackson. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Harry Kane. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And players waiting in the centre. And using his body to good effect. And there the move will end because it's offside. Close though. And the substitution will occur now. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And now the end of the contest. England have made it through to the last eight. Well, they were certainly pleased to hear the final whistle because that was a really tough match, which in the end they just about deserved to win. This is a good result for them and they're going to the next round fancying their chances. Well, some days it happens for you, on other days not at all, and it falls in the latter category as far. Well. And the contest... Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's England against Denmark. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere, and everything to play for. A last four places up for grabs here.
And so the battle commences. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central Hang on, midfield. Derek, what a chance this is. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Okay. Maguire, Walker now, and he read it well, intercepting it, out of play, England throw in coming up, Saka, Kane, And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Just the clearance that was called for. And that's into cross into the centre. And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Number 10, Christian Eriksen. Harry Kane. Promising looking ball. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Kane. Very quick thinking there. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. No surprise there, England have enjoyed most of the possession, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Well, certainly, and here they are, passing the ball around once more. Determined defending. Can he put them ahead? And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Now a short corner here. A no nonsense clearance. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That strong play. And giving the ball away. Henderson. Declan Rice. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out.
and he read it well. Kane. Kane. And space to cross it. Has a go. And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. They take it short. The high press was on, and the chance is on. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Alexander Ba. Intelligent threaded pass here. Top class defending. Giving it a try. Well, they'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Okay. Saka now Harry Kane and it crossed the byline a goal kick as a result and they are committed to making the substitution here <laughs> 20 minutes remaining Kane making sure it didn't get past him well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Useful looking ball. And a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Jesper Lindström. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, they still have designs on the win. Gives it a go. And the keeper stretching to deny him. So making the substitution now. And deciding to go short with this one. Not the best clearance. very timely interception and the referee is quite rightly letting it go Kane still looking for space Henderson oh the penalty's been given late drama here and how costly could that prove to be well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And a chance to restore their advantage. A goal! Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? That's a lovely ball. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation attack there goes the whistle and a semi-final is guaranteed for England yes it was tight but they won't worry about that they had to be resilient at times there were periods where they were put under pressure and they couldn't get full control of the midfield but they're through to the next round and that's what matters
down to the last four. Both teams playing delightful football throughout the tournament, but who will progress to the World Cup final? Stay tuned to find out live here on EA TV. Hello from the commentary box and welcome to our coverage of a semi-final that has the potential to captivate. England and Germany up against each other. This evokes memories of Italian 90 and Euro 96. Stuart, how's it going to go? Well, I think we're going to see a tight game between two very good teams. And I think it will go the way of Italian 90 and Euro 96, particularly Italian 90. When it went to penalties, the game was very, very even, and England lost on penalties. This time, it might be slightly different. They might win on penalties, I think. And the match begins. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Power Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Foden. Can they nudge in front? Easy save, Neuer. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Mario Goetze in the center of the pitch. And rather than use a strike partnership, Bellingham flinging himself at it, the keeper. Short corner routine. Determined defending. And a goal! The opening statement of the semi final. How important could that prove to be? Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. The ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Nicely timed tackle. Harry Kane. Phil Foden now able to skip past his man. Can he find the net? Oh, a smart stop. Short corner it is. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Not a time for composure on the ball. Well, two goals down, and it would have been very hard to see them getting back into this one. But that save from Neuer certainly gives them hope. Well, they can't exhale just yet. Here they come again. In position. Brilliantly blocked. Mario Goetze. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Leroy Zane. Leon Goretzka. Well, lovely work to get past his man. And blocked for now. A chance maybe from the wide position. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Firing it towards goal. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. So 
Well, the corner played into the box. And the struggle to get it away properly. John Stones. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. So into the second half, can Germany fight back after that first 45? single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened counter-attacking very much an option will they profit from this situation well that break looked so promising but nothing coming from it Leon Goretzka the cross is on Did well to win the ball back. Good move in the making from Germany. Goretzka. Can he convert? Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Well, there you have it. Just not enough going forward from them today. They've lacked tempo, they've lacked a sense of urgency, and above all, a bit of quality. It's been very disappointing. Jude Bellingham. And providing width. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Karim Adeyemi. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Bellingham. Harry Kane. Foden, an important interception. Thomas Müller. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Oh, could be. Oh, a goal! What drama here! Level pegging now. And who's to say what will happen next? Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Shaw. And Bellingham. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Müller. Rudiger has it. Committed challenge. This looks more than decent. Kane! And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation.
Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. The referee blows for full time. And guess what? England are through to the World Cup final. Well, that was an excellent display. The result was never in doubt, in my view. They controlled the tempo of the game. They looked threatening when they went forward. And they had the better individuals. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. Well, impossible to ask footballers to produce magic every single game. And it didn't quite happen for him tonight. Well, I would say he was average today. But he can't be at his best every week. He just did a good job for the team. And the game begins. This is it. We're down to the two best teams in the world and just moments away from the most exciting fixture in football, the World Cup Final. Stay with us. We'll have all the action. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Costa Rica against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And now they get the ball rolling. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Luke Shaw starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kay. Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Bukayo Saka. the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final one to Sabre well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back but there's still plenty for him to do under all sorts of pressure from the defender he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plomb it's a great goal Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Anthony Contreras. And a strong tackle. Declan Rice. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. This is looking threatening. He's got to score! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely!
Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Number nine, Harry Kane. Right on top of it, Henderson. Oh, big chance. Great defending here. Henderson. And Bellingham. And that's sound goalkeeping. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. Venegas. And a poor ball. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And Bellingham. Celso Borges. He's given us away. Well, England have controlled possession, as you can see, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements... Have... Harry Kane! Really good diving save. Over it comes. And clearing is away. They're not cherishing the ball the way they usually do. Henderson. Kane. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, big opportunity! Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Played over. High class defending right on the goal line. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. He takes aim. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Celso Borges. A running room in the wide position. Crossing possibilities. Taking care of business defensively here. He's driven in the corner. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Jordan Henderson has lost possession. Francisco Calvo. It's with Ronald Matarita. Chance to play it in. And no way through. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Danger here as he runs at them. Kane. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Short corner taken. Giving it a try. Another corner. Favouring the short one. Brilliantly blocked. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And it might be. Oh, keeper in control. Yep. 
Who can he pick out? So it's going to be a goal kick here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Venegas. Oh, he's given the ball away. And a throw in forthcoming. And they will make the change now. And he's given us away. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Harry Kane slips it through. Superb stop. And there goes the final whistle. England have won the World Cup for the first time since 1966. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserve it. England, the world champions! Well, what a scene to witness. After 56 years of hurt, England need feel the pain no more. Well, what a night for the players, the coaching staff, and of course the fans who have roared England on tonight. What a night this is for English football.